you think you know SAP. Presented by ASUB News. Hosted by the spectacular Wink Welcome Dale. And now, Wink Welcome Dale. Hello, everyone, and welcome to So You Think You Know SAP. The most outrageous game show here at Sapphire Now and ASUG Annual Conference. We have three semi-willing contestants here <laughs> testing their knowledge of SAP. Contestant number one, we'll just call him Paul. Paul, welcome. Thanks, Tom. Glad to be here. Conte really? Are you really? <laughs> so far. So far. We'll see how that goes. Contestant number two, Chris, welcome. Oh, Wink, I'm so happy to be here. Oh. I watch you every day. Oh, darling, you're looking great. Welcome to the studio. And last from SAP. Mark, congratulations on being selected. Thanks so much. Oh, you look so excited. <laughs> Let's get this game started. There are three rounds. The first round, every question is worth 100 points. Ooh. And the category is SAP customer or not. I'm going to give you an SAP, a name of a customer, and you say whether it's a customer or not, okay? Okay. First question, Apple. Chris Crone. Yes. That is correct. Second question. Good job, Chris. SAP customer or not? Oracle. No. Correct. Good job, Paul. <laughs> that was an easy one. Third yeah. question. This company, Salesforce.com. Mark no. Finneran. No. That is correct. Fourth question. Are they an SAP customer or not? Microsoft. Chris Crone. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. Paul Rose. Oh, Paul. <laughs> She's right. They are. They are. There's a tie. We're going to give it Thank to you. Come on. <laughs> last Let's go, Wink. This round. SAP customer or not. I don't like you over there, by the way. <laughs> SAP customer or not. EMC. Paul Roach. I won that one, and yes, they are. That is correct. Yeah. All right, round one. Give them a round of applause here. Come on, folks. Woo! Look at that. After one round, Paul Roach, 300. Chris Crone, 100. Mark Finner, 100. The Founding Fathers. There we go. These are all about the people who founded SAP. This should be an unfair advantage for you, Mark Finner. Well, we'll try. All right, here we go. Besides Hasso Plattner, name one of the other four oh. co-founders of SAP. Mark Finner. Deep my hope. That is correct. No, there's no more. Sorry, that's it. Over. Number two, where did the group... Hassel Plotner. <laughs> it said without not Hassel okay. Plotner. I'm out. Can we cut these guys? <laughs> Number two, where did the co-founders of SAP work before they started? Chris Crone. Xerox. That's incorrect. <laughs> Paul Roach. IBM. Yay. That is correct. All right. Founding Fathers continued. What does SAP stand for in English? Chris Crone. Systems, Applications, and Products. Programming. I'm sorry, that was not the full answer. Judges? No. All right. Paul Roche, follow up. Systems, Applications, and Programs? That is correct. Oh. Come on, dude. You work for SAP. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Man, come uh, on, man. Originally. Chris Crone, I'm going to give you a, right, another systems, one. Systems, applications, and products, data processing. That is correct. Oh, wow. Yes, good job. All right. Wow, Chris. Number four. This would be an easy one. What year was SAP founded? Paul Roach. 1972. That is correct. Lastly, and we'll round out this. I did my I'm looking to you. Too. I'm looking to you. <laughs> Who was you. SAP's first customer? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not liking your chances, but go ahead. I know. It's a chemical company that I can't remember the name it's of. It's a chemical company? That's close enough. Let's get it. <laughs> Imperial Chemical Industries. Wow. That's pretty generous, Wink. Yeah. I'm cuter than him. Yeah, absolutely. A chemical company? All right. Third category. We're rolling here. <laughs> you got to wait for that music. That's the category music. All right. This SAP application lifecycle management tool has a catchy nickname. What is it? I'm a soul Paul. Solution manager or soul man? That is correct. Soul, soul man. Nice. 
Nice. Number four. You got to get this. What is the most famous street or Ali in Waldorf? <laughs> Mark. Dietmar Hop Ali. That is correct. Dietmar uh, Hop Ali. And number five. Looking to you. What NHL hockey team is Hasso Plotner a part of? Chris. San Jose Sharks. That is correct. And they lost again. First All right. Time. So after three, three rounds, Paul is in the lead with 600. Chris, 300. Mark, boosted up in a second place with 400. Okay. Ooh. Turn it on, Chris. All right. This is going to be a rapid fire round right okay. here. Pass music. Fourth guy. category is name that module. Uh -huh. Here we go. FI. Finance. Financial. All roads. Financials. Yep. Financial. Correct. CO. Chris. Controlling. Correct. QM. Paul. Uh, quality management. Correct. MM. Chris. Materials management. And five. Uh, five is EHS. Chris Krohn. Environmental health and safety. That is correct. Ooh. A clean sweep. Wow. Good job, Chris. All right. One more category to go, and then we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to get to know our contestants a little bit better, some personal things about them that they definitely don't want to reveal. Sounds great. The last category at the close of round one is past Sapphire musical acts. Back in the time machine, it may be a little hazy for some of you. Think about, you know, sitting in the Amway Center or wherever it was. All right, so here we go. Name one of the three country acts who graced the stage in 2013. Chris. Uh, Alan Jackson. That is correct. We also would have accepted Martina McBride or uh, Bonnie Raitt. Bonnie Raitt, yeah. Number two, this legendary rock and roll group announced they were breaking up Paul. Van Halen. Van Halen is correct. Mm -hmm. It was Van Halen. They broke up the day after Sapphire that year. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. It was our fault. Yes. Number right, three, bye -bye. if you know what Oye Como Va means, then you'll like it. Chris. Lost Lonely Boys. Oh. Mark. Santana. Oh, Santana right. is correct. That was 2010, everyone. Yes. Number four, the performance of this singer will be best remembered for the assemblage of SAP customers and employees he hailed up to the stage in 2011. Mark Finneran. Sting. That is correct. Sting. Remember he had all those people come up on the stage? Oh, that's right. Like one guy and like 50 women. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't one of them. That's why I forgot. Uh, the last question in category number five, past Sapphire and musical acts, is it was 2001 and this hard driving band from Boston rocked the house. Paul Roach. Aerosmith? That is correct. All right. We're. we're we're at the end of round one, everyone. Give these people a nice round of applause. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come back. We're going to get to know these people a little better. And we'll be ready for round two. Thanks a lot. Welcome back to So You Think You Know SAP. You know, we've got to tell the contestants what they're playing for. Ashley from ASUG, what are they playing for? ASUG Hub Club Chair. <laughs> yes. You'd be able to redeem them. I don't know if it's going to be actually that many. <laughs> Maybe a couple. Rebecca is really tight with those things, so look okay. out. All right, let's get to know our, pan our customer customers, contestants here. Contestants. Over here we have Mark Finner and you, as we said, work for SAP. Mm -hmm. And so Mark, what do you like to do on the weekend? That's great. <laughs> okay, so let's go over here to Chris. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for being a good sport today. Mark. Absolutely, absolutely. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Germany. 
Really? I thought you were, it says here Brooklyn. <laughs> that is not good. Well, okay. your um, sources. Check yeah, your sources. I will. Well, thanks for being here, Mark. We appreciate it. Chris Crone, you are from somewhere in the Midwest, I think. That's right, Wink, yes. It's great for you to be here. Thanks. And it also uh, says you were into wakeboarding. And in the wintertime, I like to wakeboard. Or as the well. The water's really cold, yes. That is fantastic. Yeah, Chris, thanks. we love having you here. Thanks, thanks for being a good sport. And last and kind of least, Paul Roche, you are from somewhere in Massachusetts. I don't know, some insignificant town in Massachusetts. Yes, well, Quin Quincy. Qu Quincy, oh, I've heard of that. And you are into quilting and bedazzling your clothes. That is really interesting. Yeah, the, the quilting started first and then the bedazzling came after. Really? Well, that's great. Glad you could be here. Thanks, everyone. All right. So after the end of first round, 1,000 points. Paul, the bedazzler, is in the lead. Oh, Chris yeah. Wakeboarder is at <laughs> 700, and Mark from Brooklyn is at 600. Let's get this round two started. <laughs> All right, round two. The category is SAP HANA Startup Ooh. or WWE Wrestler. <laughs> For those who don't know, WWE is the wrestling, you know, the wrestlers on TV. So I'm going to give you a name, and you have to say which you think it is. First question is JTG. Chris. Startup. I think it's a WWE wrestler, my judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's an ah. <laughs> How can you do that? Well, I'm giving it to her. Give it to her, everyone. Oh, that's it the actually, second one we've given to her. It actually is a WWE wrestler. Oh. All right, second is Jerome. Paul Roche. Hana Startup. That is correct. All right, good job. Number three, Cesaro. Mark. Wrestler. That is correct. Good job. Number four, Optessa. Paul. I'm saying startup. Good job. That is correct. And the last to round out this category is Actino. Chris Crone. Startup. That is correct. Wow. All right. So we got first round down 1,600 for Paul, 1,300, and 900 for Mark. Nice job. Uh -huh. Story number seven. The product formerly known as. Here we go. So I'm going to give you, so I'm going to say Bus SAP Business Information Warehouse was the old name for what new product? Mark. BI. That is BW. incorrect. BW? Paul Roche. BW. That is correct. SAP BW. But then it got yeah. renamed to BI, so. Uh, mm, I don't think so. I, I'm, we're going to pass on that <laughs> one. All right. This beloved business object product was recently renamed SAP Dashboards. Chris Crone. Excelsius. That is correct. Good job. Thanks, Chris. Three. SAP changed the name of NetWeaver XI to. Chris Crone. PI. At Weaver PI, that is correct. It's got a new name now, actually. What? It's a newer name? It's like PO now, isn't it? Or PO? Just happened today? Yes, recently. Uh, All yeah. right, number four. Tomorrow. Newbies now know this product as SAP Lumira, but many still call it... Paul Roche. Visual intelligence? That is correct. Wow. Didn't think you were going to get it there. Something. And lastly, you may have fond memories of my SAP, or not. Well, that was replaced by Chris. The business suite. I'm going to uh, give her that. No, that's correct. That's actually correct. I'm going to give her that one. It's ECC, but okay. it's, I mean, come on, close it up. Why do we even have the buzzer? <laughs> we like Chris. We don't like you guys. <laughs> that's marvelous. All right, after seven rounds, Paul commanding lead at 2,200, Chris right behind at 2,100, and Mark, Ooh. we got to help him out. Let's, right. let's give him some. Uh, yeah, right, we'll yeah. yeah. let the customers All right. win. All right, this is, I think, one of our favorite rounds here category is theme songs for famous former SAPers. So what we did is take some, think of some famous people who have left SAP and then listen to the kind of satirical take we took on a song and figure out who it is. This is a thinker. Are you ready? Oh, no. no. The first one is Back in Blackberry. Oh. Back in Blackberry. Judge, hit me an X. 
Judge? <laughs> it was John Chen, Blackberry, back in Blackberry, oh, went to Blackberry. Oh, all right, next, next question is... Next category. Time, <laughs> oh, this, come on. <laughs> That's a good one. Time after timeless software. Time after time. Yes. Vishal Sika. Vishal Sika is correct. Good job. Thank you, Mark, for playing this category. <laughs> we, built a, we built Ariba on rock and roll. Ariba, he left. Kind of like Wasn't recently, Ariba. Judge? <laughs> Bob Calderoni. Yeah. Calderoni. Number four. Go on, take HP's money, and run. Oh, uh, Chris Crone. Oh, uh, I forgot his name. Fast. Uh. Paul Roach. Was it Apotheker? That's no, right, Leo Apotheker. Yeah. Yes, correct. Oh, and the last one. Yes. Now this, you guys haven't gotten any of these, so I doubt no. you guys are going to get this. I got this. one. I got one. Yeah. That's true. There's a better place for us. Shia Agassi. Shia Agassi is correct. Oh, no. Good job, guys. All right. So we won't be doing this category next <laughs> no, year. No. I love this category. No. This is my favorite. Not a crowd pleaser. No. The crowd didn't like it? No. I hated it? No love. All right. Party. Next category is party like it's 1999. So think back, 1999. This bug was the much feared computer glitch that was supposedly going to take down the world's systems. Chris Crone. Y2K. Uh, hello. You're both going off same time. I'm giving it to Chris. Chris, that's correct. Thank you. Again. Two, where did SAP host Sapphire in 1999? That was in LA. College. LA? No. Uh. Philadelphia. Philadelphia Ooh. is correct. Oh, wow. Multiple choice. Up? This is a multiple choice. I'm going to help you guys out. Oh. What competitor sued SAP for unfair hiring practices in 1999? <gasps> Was it Siebel, PeopleSoft, or Bond? Bond. That's ah. incorrect. Ah. <laughs> Paul Roche. PeopleSoft. That is incorrect. Oh. Come on, Chris. Siebel. Siebel is correct. I nice showed it on Thank the you. Of All right. What new internet strategy, including web portal and web hosting, did SAP launch at Sapphire Now 99? It just came up earlier. It just came up earlier. City of E. It's incorrect. Oh, uh, man. It's that one. Who buzzed? You? No, no <laughs> buzz. I'm going to give you another shot. <laughs> My SAP. My SAP oh. is correct. If it wasn't and lastly, of it, it last question it. of this round, we're almost ready to the final, is what did you celebrate, or where did you celebrate New Year's Eve in 1999? Paul Roach. Marco Allen, Florida. That is correct. <laughs> All right, the end of Nailed it. Category nine. <laughs> Nailed that Thanks, Tom. Oh, thanks, Wink. Here we go. The penultimate category. Oh. The last category before we get to the, the round. Oracle versus SAP. Three. What are you buzzing? SAP. That's incorrect. We're not even ready. Ready? Here we go. Reset. Multiple choice. What percent of SAP customers run an Oracle database? More than 30, more than 50, more than 60. Oh, man. I, I, it was. It was. It was. He pushed, he did it push was, first. All right, Mark. Yeah. yeah. More than 60. That is correct. More than 60. All right. Two. Actually, all those answers would have been correct, Wink, because uh, you right. said more That's than. Yeah. Two. <laughs> yes. I used to like you. You're not going to get invited back. Yeah. Do I have to get my points back? What is the name of the third party ERP support company? Chris Crone. Ramini Street. Uh, That's it. Paul Roche. Spinnaker. That is also uh, incorrect. Let me finish the question for you. <laughs> What is the name of the third-party ERP support company SAP acquired in 2005? Oh. I don't know what it is now. No, you're out. Oh. I'll give it, can I, let's I no, you're out. No, the answer no. was tomorrow, tomorrow now. now. But oh, that's no, right. You get any points. Yeah. All right. Oh. When speaking with the media or on analyst calls, SAP executives typically refer to Oracle as this. 
I guess well, I, neither of you or no, none of you being in the analyst or media community probably wouldn't have been on these calls. So no. It is our next largest competitor. Oh. I'll take they... minus points for that, actually. <laughs> Larry Ellison once quipped that SAP must be on this to think it will compete in the database. Paul Roche. Crack? That is in. What? Sounds right. Uh, drugs. drugs. We're going to give it Crack is a drug. It was yes, drugs. It a drug. Crack, crack yes. is a drug. Yeah. But it was my. Um, Last question. And you guys have been great. Right. Last question is in 2003. What SAP executive stated, quote, I never, ever mooned Larry Ellison? Mark Finneran. Hassel Platner. Hassel Platner is correct. All right, guys, give these guys a round of applause. We are finished. We're ready for the last wow, round. Bolting into the lead, Ooh. Chris Crone with no. 2,800 points. Nice, Chris. Paul Roche in second, 2,600. And Mark, I mean, we got a tight race here. Look at this. Three hundred dollars or three hundred points, I should say. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred dollars separate. We're getting paid. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you the category. All right. You're gonna know how much you want to wager. You can wager mm. it all or whatever. And then I'll give you the question, <laughs> and we'll go from there and see how you guys do. So the final category is Hana. <laughs> SAP Hana. How much would you like to wager? I'm waiting for my theme music. Is it playing? <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, how the, much? You've got 2,600, 2,800, and 2,500. Do I have to put them? Want to know no, what they? No, no, oh, you don't want to show your seat, your contestants the oh, answer. Oh, that's true. Here. So. All right. All right, here we go. Category is SAP Hana. And the final question is: it When it was, it? yeah, you can just write. Yep. Right on it. When it was first released, what did the HANA acronym stand for? We've got our thinking music. Mark looks very confused. Chris started off doing okay. Paul is scribbling. Gibberish, I think. Um, this is going to be interesting, folks. This is going to be really interesting. Uh, Hana, H A N A. You can just feel the tension. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you to put your markers down, no. please. As we go, Mark, I, I got some bad news, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. No. We'll, we'll go with your answer first, and then how much you wagered, okay? Okay. So, Mark, your answer to uh, when it was first released, what did the HANA acronym stand for? Your answer was? HASO application. HASO application. That and is my incorrect. Was, was uh, and he wagered $2,400. He wagered it all, so he's down to zero. Oh, no, wait. 100. I had 2,500. <laughs> He did. He actually he did have 2,500. So he's got 100 left, Michael. Ooh. Thank you very much. He does have 100. A little bit later. All right, Chris Crowe, you were a lovely contestant. Thank Definitely you, the most fun up here. So let's talk oh. about how much, uh, uh, what's your answer? High analytical network application. Yeah. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh. And ah. you wagered. 27, we can't do dollars here. Wait a minute. You wagered more <laughs> than you had. Oh, he, she did have 2,800, so. I had a dollar, at least one, one lot. She's left with a dollar, but that wouldn't matter because uh. Mark, all righty. Here we go. I think it's going to come down to what he wagered. Paul Roach, your uh, answer. Aren't I a lovely contestant, too? No, you're not. <laughs> Highly analytical network appliance. I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. <sighs> and your wager was 25.99. You are out, that means. The inaugural Mark. So You Think You Know SAP winner is Mark Finneran from SAP. So I'm right. I really wanted the customers to win. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Yeah, what's oh, the answer? Oh, answer thank you. High performance analytical appliance. We also would ex have accepted Hasso's new architecture, which was also. Oh, yeah. that was what I was you were on the right yes. road. 
anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks to everyone for being here. Congratulations. We do have some lovely parting gifts for you. Thank Stay you, here, and we'll see you all next year. Thank you.